Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Carlos, the school teacher. This is my son Francisco and welcome back to Living with Mangoes. Today we are going to do something a little different. Today I'm not going to do any descriptions of the mangoes because all these videos are on the website. Go to YouTube, Living with Mangoes, and you'll find all these videos. I have the famous Maha Chinook. I have the famous coconut cream. I have the famous and Francisco's new favorite, the Val Carey. And we have the infamous top rated mango, the champion of the world, <laughs> the Kent. And these mangoes are gonna go at it. We're gonna find out which is the tastiest mango for our taste buds. And we're gonna find out which one of these mangoes is going to win. We will start with which one, son? Which one you wanna start with? Hmm. Honestly, I think we should start with the top tier, right? It would make sense. Top tier mango. So we have the Kent mango. Top of the line supermarket mango. <laughs> Let's see. Gotta cut into this Kent mango. It's a little bit of juice. There goes the Kent. Smell Ooh. test. Let's do the smell test. Can smell it from here. Mm, actually has a good aroma. I made sure that I ripened it very, very well, this Kent mango. So the skin is nice. It's still firm to the touch, but it is a, a, a semi-soft. So it's firm to the touch and semi-soft, this it Kent mango. It gives me that like classical mango smell. Classic mango smell. But it also kind of smells like the um, piña colada. It smells a little like piña colada, really. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cut into this Kent mango. It's firm. Go ahead, son. Try it. What do you think? Mmm. It's not too bad. Not too bad, huh? It kind of tastes like the piña colada. No, 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 no. It's missing a lot of the pineapple taste, a lot of the citrus taste. It tastes like a classic mango a old classic oh wow this side and this side was different it's not that sweet it's moderate sweetness there's not a lot of fiber at all very very little fiber it's a firm mango And mango. I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. How's the skin? Let's try the skin, actually. Skin is edible. It's okay. The Kent, Tommy Atkins, and Kit. Not, the Kit, not as much, but the other two, they have a long shelf life. So I got this mango a few weeks ago, actually. Wow. And I let it ripen all this time, just so it could be ready for this taste test. This is why it's not bad, too bad tasting this time. It's just a store-bought mango. I mean. Which one you want to try next, son? <clears throat> okay, so. You have the coconut cream, Maha Chinook, and the Val Carey. I want to say my uh, favorite for last. So I think we should probably do the coconut cream. The coconut cream. And you can't be biased. It's great in it based on how they taste today. I know. Okay. Here goes the cut. Cut smoothly, Ooh. beautifully. Juicy. Okay. That's the inside. It's a nice color. Beautiful color on the coconut cream. Put that to the side. Let's cut the coconut cream. Smell test. It is juicy. The juice is flowing. Mm. The juice is flowing. Mm. It smells so good. It smells delicious. 
It does have a coconutty smell, citrus smell, and a mangoey smell all combined. Super juicy. To the test. Mm. Mm. It doesn't even compare to the can. The Not even close. <laughs> the can doesn't even compete against this, huh? It's not even in the same realm. Mm. It has a nice coconut flavor. It does. It's probably, it's stronger than the other. Um, this is a very good coconut cream. Yeah. It has a stronger coconutty flavor than the last ones we tried. Mm. But wow. Almost no fiber. <laughs> Excellent. I was trying Excellent not to be harsh with the cat, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, a little bit of pineapple taste in there. This was a very good coconut cream. It This one was actually more creamy than any of the other coconut creams I've tasted. Skin's okay. The skin's so soft, it just breaks off when you got it. Yeah, no, I, I It just that. breaks off. Mm. The skin is so soft. And it's edible. I could literally eat this skin, no problem. No tartness at this level. At this level of ripeness, little tinges of green. Mm. Very good coconut cream. Okay. Which one do you want to try, son? The Mahashanuk. Maha, maha, ha, 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 ha. The Mahashanuk. You should probably take the sticker off. Let's take that sticker off. We don't want any more energy that we need. Yeah. Yeah, it's tight on there. Oof. These little stickers that you put on there, boy. And I have to cut it off. Let's do this. Ooh. This is a nice firm Mahashanuk. I have high expectations. Ooh. I have high expectations for this one. Smell that. That's a different smelling Mahashanuk. Mm, it's like a, that one has a lot of citrusy and flowery smells. It smells kind of different from all the other mangoes. Yeah. No, it's, Maha Chinook. It's definitely different. It's a unique smell. It is a unique smell. There you go. <laughs> I don't want the extra boost of energy. Okay. I think you took the one with... Oh, you took it. Oh, look at that. I'm the one that got a little bit of uh, paper on there. Okay. Taste it. Woo! Smells good. Mm. Best taste in Mahashanok so far? Yep. Has a coconut flavor. Mm. This is good. Wow. This Mahashanok is special. Mm -hmm. I tasted peach. I've tasted a little bit of coconut. I taste a little bit of papaya. Yeah, the papaya. I taste a little bit of cantaloupe. It has that flowery aftertaste, that floral aftertaste. It is soft. Mm. No fibers on there. Very, very little fibers. It's really soft. I got a little more fiber. Mmm. It has just the right amount of, of, of sweetness. This is an excellent mango. See that fiber? Mm hmm There we go. It has some fiber on the side. It's closer to the skin, though. But it doesn't stay stuck in your teeth, so that's a good thing. That's a definitely a good thing. Mmm. Mmm. You can't go wrong with the mahasana. It has so many different tastes in here. It's a lot of different tastes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I first bit into it and I was confused. This is why a lot of people like Mahashanuk. Oh. Because it has so many different tastes. Yeah. The skin you didn't like. Mm mm. Mm. Bitter. Bitter, bitter, bitter. And it doesn't happen right away. You bite it a few times and you're thinking you have just crossed the river and then it hits you like oh. a bomb. Boom! Don't eat that. It gives you like a like a dry sensation. Yeah, skin is strong, but this Mahashanuk was excellent. Excellent Mahashanuk at this stage, like reddish tones, 
Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. And last but not least, the Valkyrie. My son's new favorite mango. Let's see if it's still his favorite after this taste test. I'll the Valkyrie mango. Let's see which side we're gonna do. Let's do this side. All right, here we go. I'm trying not to be biased. Yep, try not to be biased. Oh, juicy. Juicy. It, it is juicy. Very pretty. Look at that. Val Carey. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what happened to the bias? <laughs> it punches you in the face Ooh. with that smell. Yeah, it's a wonderful smell. It is a wonderful Definitely smell. Definitely probably one of the best smelling mango here. I'll be taking this side. <laughs> you take the big one. <laughs> okay. Small? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to describe that. Strong smell. smell. Very strong, punchy smell. It's like a punch. Ooh, it peels nicely too. Okay. Oh, wow, very nicely. Look at that. Okay, let me dig down. Mm. Wow. It's honestly not even fair. <laughs> They're all different. They are all different. But I enjoy the Valencia Pride and I enjoy the Cary Mango and the Angie and the, with the, that category. This Valkyrie definitely has the best of both, the Valencia Pride and the Carry. Going a little more towards the Carry, but holding on to the pineapple taste of the Valencia Pride. Sweetness is good sweetness scales, not overwhelmingly sweet. Um, it doesn't have a lot of fibers. Close to the skin, a little tartness. And more strong citrus taste, like pineapple -y taste, which is great. Skin's okay. Oh, mm. Wow. It's delicious. This is going to be a hard one. This is the battle of the mangoes. All right. Ooh, like that. Piney, too. It has a little bit of piney taste on there. All right, son. Now that we've done that, let's go back. First one we tried. Kent. The good old Kent Mango. Champion of the world. Champion of the supermarkets. <laughs> the good old coconut cream. The good old Maha Chinook. And the Valkyrie. Valkyrie is not a great looking mango. Mm. Now, what would you give the Kent from a one to a 10? I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a mango that I wouldn't mind eating. It wasn't bad and I'm surprised because I've heard a lot of bad things about the Kent mango. But when I tried it, at least this mango that has been sitting here for weeks, I have it I have it sitting here for weeks. I had to make sure it was perfect. This is the only way you're gonna be able to get a good Kent mango at its best uh, ripeness. You gotta let it sit. You gotta let it sit. It it was better than I expected it to be. I was expecting it to be a lot worse than it was. So what would you give it? A five. A five. He gave the Kent a five. I give this Kent a three. Three for the Kent. He gives it a five. I think it's because it had a more classical taste to it. What do you give the coconut cream? Okay. So, this is where uh, it gets it tough. Starts it starts to getting get tough. tough. Coconut because cream, one to a 10. The Mahashanuk, oh, it's, it's so good. We're not up to the Mahashanuk yet. I know, but the coconut cream and the Mahashanuk just, they're like, Close to each other? Super, but I can't tell. Okay, so, okay, what would you give the coconut cream? Oh, it's a good mango. Seven and a half for sure. Seven and a half? I give the coconut cream a solid seven. Mahahaha, Chinook. Mm. I have to go seven and a half. Seven and a half. So the Maha Chinook just slightly beat the coconut cream. Slightly to the, to the tiniest bit. I say that they are tied. A seven and a seven. 
one category of taste, a different category of taste. So they're two different categories of taste, two different taste profiles, but I give them both a solid seven. Val Carey. What do you give the Val Carey? Um, this particular Val Carey was amazing. I really enjoyed it. The other Val Carey we had was really, really good, but I feel that that one was slightly better because of the coconut tinges. Okay. It was more coconut tinges, so it tasted like a... So it has tinges, had like a tinges of taste coconut. It. it had more of a tropical taste. What would you so, give it? Eight and a quarter to an eight and a half. Eight and a quarter to eight and a half. That's the highest grade he's ever given a mango. This is his favorite mango, the Val Carry. I give this mango a seven and a half. A solid seven and a half on this Val Carry. So far, the Val Carry is the winner of the day. Yay! For Val Carry! And with that, I'm Carlos the School Teacher. This is my son Francisco, and we are out. Living with mangoes. mangoes.